here. Uh, I'm taking a little pause from the furnace episodes because I want to kind of answer some of the questions that some of you guys have had about texturing and uh, kind of explain a little bit more about those and how those work. So, let's just get to it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, let's open up a couple of different folders here. Um, where am I going? No, no, I just need to be here. Okay. Uh, we'll save this bad boy. And we're going to open up Eclipse. So, I'm in my modding folder. We have NeoCraft here. Then we have all of our files that set up when we did the initial Gradle installation. Over here in my package folder, you're going to see that we have a lot of the same folders, right? Like a README and a README. Gradle WBAT, Gradle WBAT, credits, credits, right? Um, uh, build, common, Eclipse, Gradle, build, uh, no common, Eclipse, Gradle. Up here are our sources, right? So we have a source for NeoCraft, and then a source for main. We actually go in here, we're going to see our main sources. We actually go into those, we'll see Java and resources, right? We go into NeoCraft, we're going to see assets and net. So if we actually come here, we'll see our assets. These are one folder, net is another folder. So every time we actually put a dot, that represents another folder deeper. So we have our assets folders under source and then NeoCraft. And here we have NeoCraft, which is right here. And then under here we have Lang and Textures. So we have Lang, Textures, and there's Textures Blocks, Textures Items. So if we actually come in here, Blocks and Items. Now, uh, coming back up, we have our Net folder, right? So we have Net, and then NeoCraft, which we see right here. Then we see Mod. So there's actually five folders. One is the main mod folder itself, which we have our main modding class. So mod is th this main folder with four subfolders, blocks, handler, items, world gen. So that kind of makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an item, and I'm going to plug in uh, the texture for this item into our assets uh, source assets that neocraft dot textures dot items so we're essentially looking at this one right here and here you'll actually see all of the items that we have listed actually in the same order I'm going to view, uh, view these by detail so you'll actually see copper ingot back saw copper ingot bat saw all the way down Vanadium ingot, zinc ingot. So you kind of see how this works, right? Um, I have this bad boy right here. This is a staff, right? Staff that we're going to create. Sweet texture, huh? Uh, let me know if you know where that's from. So we're going to take this and we're actually going to move it into our items folder. All right, so boom, there it is. And if we actually go to Eclipse, we're now going to see that we have the staff in there right cool so let's go through our regular stuff that we do in our main modding class we're going to create an item public static item item staff right so this is the variable that we're using to declare it we are going to shrink that down a bit and we're going to have item staff equals new and see items then we're going to set the unlocalized name and really what we want this to be this unlocalized name we want this to match exactly how we have our uh, texture named so we're just putting staff right because remember that when we put this in here we just put it as staff.png. We're not putting PNG. Minecraft does that for us, right? And when we actually go into this NC items, right, 
we're looking for the NeoCraft mod ID with a colon. This dot get unlocalized name. The substring actually trims down the first five characters, which is actually uh, item dot or tile dot, right? So this is for our items. Staff. We're going to uh, so we've initialized the item. We're going to come down here and we're going to register the item. And of course we're just going to item staff and we're going to use our unlocalized name staff like so and then we're going to come up to our lang file. Now you'll see that we've just been opening it in here and I'll kind of show you the example of how these these folders in your modding folder pertain to what's actually happening over here in Eclipse, right? So we'll go to the Lang folder. We're going to choose to open this with something. Um, we can open it with Sublime Text, and I'll drag this over here. If you don't use Sublime Text, I recommend that you do because it's awesome. And so here we can actually go item dot staff dot name equals Neil's staff. And we'll save that with a control S and we'll move this back over here. So you'll see that we've updated that folder, right? We actually come in over here and we open it in Eclipse. <laughs> uh, text editor right there. So we've got Neil staff, right? So you can kind of see the relationship between these folders here, right? And then the folders that we have in our file structure right here. You know, our assets and our net. Assets, net. Let's run it, and you'll see that our texture is automatically going to be there. jump in and you know what we go with that one and here's our staff right Ooh. so you see that we have that staff right there and the texture is loaded for it so if you have specific questions um, what I'm actually going to do uh, with some of these textures and I know that you guys are going to need help for code so I've actually posted on minecraftforum.net, I've, I've posted a topic there, and I'll actually put a link in the description below. I'll put a link in the description below on how to get there. You will have to register an account, uh, but that will allow me to interact with you a lot easier. The, the, the layout of the forum allows you to, to kind of put your code in quite a bit easier. And there are tons of guys there who just absolutely love helping out uh, folks like you, folks like me. I go there all the time and ask for questions, you know, hey, how do I do this? Uh, so don't hesitate to do that as well. So I will put that link in the description down below and you can come and visit or if you uh, uh, maybe if you don't feel comfortable going on the forums or you know I, I, hey I understand sometimes I'm a little insecure about sharing my code if you want to Skype uh, just send me a private message through YouTube and uh, we can Skype and uh, do a little bit of screen sharing and I can kind of walk you through and help you correct your code so that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get this bad boy published and up so that way I can move over and start working some more on our custom furnace. Thanks everybody, this is Neil. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and comment if you have any comments, and I'll see y'all in the next episode.